Okay, everybody's showing up. It's a very exciting event. The crowds are coming, and all the producers and directors are mingling around, and we have one here. Julia, yes. Hi. Yes, hi. So, I love, she introduced herself to me as a filmmaker. So, yes. God bless you for that. So, Thank tell you. us about your film. My film is Elba Ruiz, Fat Meat, and it's a short portrait documentary. I did as a final assignment in my directing documentary course for my MFA in film at City College in New York. City College. Yes. City College weighing in. Yes. So, yes. So, okay, but so the big question that we ask everybody, independent filmmaker, we were just talking to, to Donald and, 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 and Katha about it, mm -hmm. a different relevance of independent filmmaking and a different kind of energy about it, and you have to raise all your own money. Yes. And how would you do? Um, this one cost me just about zero dollars because... Um, uh, I had a, I needed a cinematographer. There was a guy who had graduated from my program who lived a couple of blocks away from me. Um, I, and uh, I said, hey, do you mind to come and be my cinematographer for an afternoon while we record this interview with my uh, my subject, Elbow Ruiz? And he was like, yeah, sure. So he was very kindly. We had a two camera set up. And we shot this interview with Elba, and then I shot all the incidental footage using my own uh, iPhone 11. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. It's, it's, look what I'm using. That's what I'm using yeah. to broadcast it. Yeah, uh, all my a, years of CBS television, all the equipment, everything we needed, now I'm doing it out of iPhone. It's a great little phone, right? Yeah. yeah. It, it's wonderful. Yeah. So um, Elba Ruiz is a story about uh, Elba's my Elba. Elba Ruiz. Elba Ruiz. The story is called Elba Ruiz Fat Meat. Um, Elba is my across the hall neighbor and I needed to do a portrait documentary for this course and I know that she had had a, a many years struggle with battle with cancer so I wanted to interview her about it so I we set up the interview in the courtyard of our building and she proceeds to tell this most amazing story about what life was like for her battling cancer. She got down to 87 pounds, she has a Hodgkin's lymphoma, 87 pounds and she was on so many different treatments and it's such heavy chemo that she couldn't drink, she couldn't eat, she couldn't swallow, she spent eight days in the hospital and it almost killed her and she said, I don't care. I'm done. I'm leaving the hospital. I'm not taking another shot. I'm not doing any more chemo. She went home and she Googled on her phone what shrinks tumors, and Google told her fat. So she decided to come up with her own cure for cancer, and she started eating all of this fat meat. Not that I'm, I'm not advocating this for other people, but fat meat, pork chops, bacon, you name it. And uh, a year after saying she wasn't going to do any more treatment, a year later she went back to the doctor and he said, what are you doing? And she said, what do you mean? He said, the tumors, they're shrinking. <laughs> and, and she said, well, you wouldn't know because all you know how to do is give medicine. These are her words. Um, and over the course of three years, her tumors went away. Doing, doing all the things she wasn't supposed to do. Doing all the, I mean, she said, but then, but then her cholesterol shut up, so <laughs> now she's on a chicken yeah. diet. Where all she does is, is chicken, yeah. and but it's a funny, sweet story about how an average, everyday person deals with illness and advocates for herself. I'm so looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, it's only so, six minutes, forty seconds. But and her name is Elba. Elba. You know, Elba Ruiz. is the island that they that they um, sent Napoleon to yes. when he screwed up. Yes. And they exiled um, Napoleon to Elba. And yes. there's a saying that says. Abel was I, er, it's for Napoleon. Mm -hmm. Abel was I, er, I saw Elba. Spells the same thing backwards. Oh, really? Oh, who knew? <laughs> you know, I, I, Is that a the, palindrome? Yes, it's a palindrome. There you Abel go. Abel was I, er, I saw Elba. So gotcha. now you can say that to Elba. Your next I neighbor. will let her know. So, yeah, our film is showing Thursday night at the local in the, in the 6 o'clock block. I'm so looking forward to it. It's a really pleasure. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you so much, sir.